All right, guys. So back again. Um, this part, of this review today um, is going to be on the BioLite kettle pot and the um, coffee press with the BioLite. I don't know if you guys can see all that. I'll take some pictures of this. It's the BioLite blend coffee. Um, I ordered this the other day. I got their pack with their branded mug from, I believe it's Mirror, M-I-I-R. Uh, it's a cool mug. It's double steel wall insulated, vacuum sealed, um, decent heavy weight to it. So I dig it. I like it. Um, only thing about the coffee, give me a second, I'll show you guys here, is three of the four packs that came in the kit are all puffed up. You can see this one. And these are, they're still sealed. This one is the only one that showed up, like, packed. So I'm going to try this and see if it was just something that happened during shipping for three of the four, or if, um, my worry is <clears throat> these might be bad and three of the four bags might have gone bad um i'm really hoping they didn't but i'll have to see so i have the kettle pot going right now uh heating up six cups of water and let's see what all does this say it's pocket portions Brew quality coffee anywhere. Ethically sourced coffee grounds. Kuju coffee. I might be saying that wrong. K-U-J-U. Uh, medium roast BioLite blend. Cocoa, woody, and honey. Crafted for use with the BioLite coffee press. Has your instructions on the back how to brew it. Um, I'll put a picture of the front and the, the front and the back on the uh, at the uh, break in this video that's going to be coming up here in a minute. But um, anyways, that's that part. Uh, I wanted to show you guys that, and um, I will be back once I am ready to pour the coffee into the coffee pot, and we will go from there. All right, guys. So I don't have too good of a way to film this, but. Uh, water just finished boiling. I'll pull the lid off the coffee pot here. Always best to let it drain a little bit. It does get, does collect some in the lid. So let's see what exactly. Oh man, it definitely smells good. All right, pour this in. If you're supposed to give it a stir, you're just supposed to let it sink. I'm just going to let it sink in and soak up water. Here. I'm going to put the lid back on it because I do tend to brew a lot of tea, and tea always brews best if you put the lid back on it. And we will go from there. So, make sure it's not sinking down. Hold on. this other fork here. Doesn't say anything about stirring it in, but I just want to get the most out of the coffee here. So, and then uh, I didn't think that through very well. I don't have a place to put that. Put that in this other little pot over here. Dirty dishes pot. All right. With that, this says it takes about four minutes. I will be back in four minutes. Alrighty, I'm back for the coffee video. So, timer just went off. Said brew for four minutes, and it smells like coffee and it looks like coffee. But let's see if it's gonna be coffee. An 
I've never used a French press before. I don't know how hard or fast I'm supposed to push this thing down. But I guess I'm sp it says to push it all the way to the bottom. Which just hit the bottom. Sorry, you just got a great shot of my arm. Good for that just closed. Uh, and I do take my coffee with sugar in it. I'm really hoping I put this lid back on correctly right now. It smells like a good cup of coffee. And I do take cream in my coffee because unless I'm actually camping, I don't don't know why, but I do not take my coffee black. Only when I'm camping will I do that. So, which, depending on um, how these how these are, how these turn out. We'll decide whether or not these go camping with me or not. Or whether I just buy different coffee and measure it out into correct portions beforehand. That was vanilla coffee creamer, by the way, for those of you that wonder. a pretty good cup of coffee um i was i don't like trying coffees i've never tried before um i was originally a big fan of starbucks when those first started cropping up down here in southern california and uh i uh am a huge fan of caribou coffee from i guess it's from the midwest from i believe minnesota area um so this is this is pretty good coffee. Um, it's a bit on the expensive side. Um, I really wanted to try it though. Well, they still had it. These were this was another limited edition thing they did. Um, it's been going for. It says limited edition, but it's been going for like a year. Um, maybe not quite a year. Uh, I remember seeing these. This kit with the coffee cup and the coffee, four things of coffee before Christmas, and. Um, I wanted it then, but I couldn't couldn't get it then. Um, plus, I didn't have the coffee press at that time. I found the coffee press, so um, or I got the coffee press. So I figured, meh, what the heck? I'll get a thing of their coffee and try it. It's pretty good. Um, I will definitely give it that. The only downside I that I have of it is just the price. It's four pots of coffee. For 17 bucks, which is probably it probably makes it way more expensive than the Corig that I have in the house, and unfortunately, that's kind of a a bust for the price of the coffee. It is no doubt a good cup of coffee, though. Um, but that's a steep price for just coffee, 17 or 18 bucks for four pots of coffee. Um, unless you buy Starbucks every day, then it's really cheap. <laughs> um, I haven't been to a Starbucks in probably three years or two years. Um, but it's just so much cheaper to brew it here. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys like this video. This was kind of a, an oddball one, just brewing a cup of coffee, but I will give it to that. This, uh, this coffee isn't bad. Um, if you're going out camping, you're only going to be gone for four or five days. Um, yeah, it's not a bad price. You know, it already comes pre-portioned. You don't have to think of anything. You just dump it right into the BioLite and go. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to enjoy this cup of coffee. My uh, breakfast just finished cooking in the Esbit stove, so um, that's my other video I'm doing right now. And I will see you guys back on the cooking video in a few minutes here. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them, and I will do my best to get back to you and let you know. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next video.